Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam placed great emphasis on filling in the gaps and strengthening the sufuf in praise. And there is an authentic hadith which comes in Ibn Imajah narrated by Aisha radiallahu anha where the Prophet of Allah said, Verily Allah, inna Allah wa malaika. Verily Allah and the malaika, they send blessings and salutations upon those who straighten their sufuf. And if a person sees a gap and fills in that gap, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise that person in status, one degree. In another hadith, our Prophet actually linked the mercy of Allah to filling in the gaps. The Prophet of Allah said, Man wasala, this hadith comes in Abu Dawood, Man wasala saffan wasalahullah. وَمَنْ قَطَعَ صَفًّا قَطَعَهُ اللَّهِ The one who connects the sufuf, meaning they stand shoulder to shoulder, ensuring that there is no gaps, Allah will join ties with you, meaning Allah will shower His Rahmah upon you. When Allah uses the phrase connection towards you, it means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shower His Rahmah upon you. وَمَنْ قَطَعَ صَفًّا قَطَعَهُ اللَّهِ The one who breaks the sufuf, this person will be deprived from the mercy of Allah. It is very important when we perform our salah with jama'ah, we look towards our left and right, and we make sure the sufuf are straight and that there is no gaps in between. And if we leave gaps, who are we leaving space for? For shaitan. When you leave a gap between each other, then you are allowing shaitan to come between your hearts. And that is why our Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, لَتُصَوُّنَّ صُفُوفَكُمْ أَوْ يُخَالِفَنَّ اللَّهِ بَيْنَ وُجُوبِكُمْ Allah will disunite your hearts. That is why the Imam always says to the Musallis, straighten the sufuf. Straighten the sufuf. Why? So that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala can unite our hearts.